Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 30, Testing with Devise Mailers. A shout out to, and I'm probably going to mispronounce this, Tanek Polonkek from YouTube for suggesting this topic. In this episode, you'll learn how to write a model spec for devised mailers, making sure that an email is sent after an instance of a devised model is created. You'll learn how to add confirmable to an existing devised model and how to write a mailer spec for devised mailers. You want to see if it's going to the right person and if it includes any custom text that you want. Finally, we will edit the devised mailer to include that custom text. If you'd like to code along, you'll just need a Rails app created with a devised model, or you can clone Ruby Thursday example app with this branch. That's Ruby Snack number 26. That was the last time that we used the Ruby Thursday example app in a Ruby Snack. All right, let's get to it. Here is a spec for the sends confirmation email. So we're going to modify our models hacker spec. We're going to say, hey, after creation, it sends a confirmation email. So we're going to build the hacker first, not create yet, because when we save that hacker, we want the device mailer deliveries to change by count one. So it increases by one. In other mailers, you would say action mailer base deliveries. But when you're using device, they have their own delivery system. So that's why you have to put device mailer deliveries. Opening up the app in your text editor, let's go to spec then models, then hacker spec, and we will replace the pending language with our spec and save that. Now let's go ahead and run the spec. So it would be our spec, spec, models, hacker spec, dot rb, and we see that no email has been sent. That's because we have not added confirmable yet to our model. We'll do that next. In the hacker model, we'll add confirmable to the rest of our modules. Then we need to create a migration to add confirmable to devise. There are several attributes that devise needs in order to make hacker confirmable. So we'll add the columns confirmation token, confirmed at, confirmation sent at, and confirmation token. Then you need to make sure that everyone who is already a hacker is confirmed. So we'll add this line to do that. If you're using SQLite, especially in development mode, the line instead will say date now. Then we're going to change a configuration because we're not going to be using reconfirmable. You would use reconfirmable if you want people to confirm, hey, yes, I am changing this email. I'm going to set it as false. Then in order for the link in the email to work, you need to set up the host for development and test that will be localhost. For production, you would use the actual domain name. Back in our text editor, let's go ahead and open up app, then models, then hacker. And they actually have it right here for you. I'm just going to copy and add a comma and then paste confirmable and save. Now I will go ahead and generate that migration. Now we're back and let's open up the migration so that we can edit it. It's just going to say def change. And now that we've copied that in, save that. And now let's rake db migrate to add those columns. And that's done. Now let's run our spec again and you'll see why we needed to add those other configurations. So scrolling on up you'll see that, hey, it's looking for a field that's unconfirmed. We don't have that, so we are going to go into the initializer for device and scroll on down, and we're going to change true to false. We're going to let people change their email address without reconfirming. Then when we run it again, you'll see an error come up. That says, scrolling on up, that says, hey, the host isn't defined. This is a very good reason to test your mailers just to make sure you have all those configurations set up in case you've forgotten. So let's go on back to environments and test, and we'll add in the host to be local host. And the same thing for our development environment. 
Running the spec again, and it passes. Next up, let's test adding some custom text in the mailer. We have to create a new spec for devise mailers. That's not auto-generated for us. So we'll just have it our spec describe devise colon colon mailer. This is how our spec is going to find the view that we're trying to test. We're testing for if it sends a confirmation email to the correct email with the custom text. We're going to create a hacker with factory girl. Then we're going to set a confirmation email to equal the device mailer deliveries last. So the last one sent. Then we'll make sure that the hacker email equals the confirmation email, which is an array and it's the email is the very first thing in that array, so we'll say zero. Then we'll expect the confirmation body to have the content, as Picard says, engage. Since the rest of this example app is all about starships and crew members, so let's go ahead and put that in. We will go to closing up some stuff just to make it easier to see. Let's scroll on down to our mailers and under spec. And let's make that new file and we'll save it as device mailer spec.rb. And now let's include the spec that we wrote and save that. Let's go ahead and run it, make sure it fails appropriately. And it does, it's not finding that custom text. To make it green, we need to change that view. So we're going to generate the device views. Those will also generate those mailers. Then we're going to include in the mailer for the confirmation instructions. We're just gonna add the line, as Picard says, engage. Now we run that generator real quick. And now we find those views in our app. So views, device, mailers, confirmation instructions, and let's just add it right here at the top of the email and save. So now when we run our spec again, drum roll, it passes. That wraps up this Ruby snack on testing device mailers. If you are not already on my email list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up. The email list gets some special stuff from time to time. If you are not already subscribed on YouTube, click that big red button and do so. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.